Hey Kong fans, stay tuned to see why I bought during my Christmas vacation and so far this year. Alright, so finally some comic book content. We got Jack and Freeway over here holding down the fort. Uh, first, let's start with a few things I just picked up over Christmas. One, Holiday Spirit here. Nice Howard the Duck magazine. Little Christmas cover there. Says non-negotiable demands. <laughs> Howard the Duck, City Dodd, Santa's Lap. So great. Love these Howard the Ducks. I probably already have that in my collection, but had a <clears throat> when I saw it, it made me laugh. I had to pick it up again. I just love these early 80s uh, indie books. So this is Just Machine. John Byrne did all the covers here. Um, so number one, two, three. Well, John Byrne did the cover number one. And then number four, full color. But um, yeah, really great these justice machines um this is from 1981 you know just machine went through several iterations you know being owned by um noble comics like this and then later first comics and innovation so these are some of the first uh ones put out um by noble uh, another one i picked up was this nice painted cover again a 1981 book thunder agents number one really great um, so happy to pick this up. Thunder Agents is a Silver Age team uh, that was purchased by John uh, Carbonaro from Tower Comics that originally published these. Uh, this edition was put out by JC Comics, which is John Carbonaro Comics, um, by Archie. So Archie published this for him in the 80s. So really great to pick that up. All right, now let's get into some, here's a little modern thing I picked up. A little Batman. These are pretty pricey. I wasn't, uh, picked them up at a great price. Um, so I have to get that. Talking about the 60s. I always say I never show my Dale collection enough love. So Superheroes was a, I think it's only about six issues, but you gotta love, you gotta love these uh, creepy clown there. So America's Greatest Superheroes Battle the Clown, Mr. Nut, and Johnny Boom Boom all in this issue. So really happy to pick that up. All right, when I pick up these Marvel, re when I find these Marvel reprint books at a good price, I always pick them up uh, and in great condition. This was in super great condition. I think I might have picked it up on an auction uh, one night. But yeah, Marvel Superheroes number 21. Uh, uh, yeah, these are from the early to uh, probably mid 60s. Um, actually, some are reprints, some are original stories. Always happy to pick these up. The art is all new and stuff. They're just super great, square bound books. If you didn't grow up in the 70s, especially early 70s, you have no idea how popular like monster uh, stuff was. Uh, there was so much monster stuff. He had very famous monsters, eerie, creepy. Uh, Marvel jumped into the foray with, with a lot of publications. Uh, some of that was to circumvent the uh, Comics Code because Comics Code did not, not apply to magazines and due to the Comics Code they wasn't able to publish uh, monster books which of course saw the end of EC Comics and, and their line of monster books when the Comics Code came out. But in the late 60s, early 70s I mean, I remember going to Saturday matinees of like all the B movies and things like that. You got home from school and you had like the 3.30 movie on, on uh, TV and stuff that would reshow the famous Universal Monster movies and a lot of the B movies and such. And there were some great fanzines that came out during that time. Uh, so whenever I see these, I pick them up. They're this really great gore creatures. Uh, number 20, a fanzine. Some great original artwork and such in this. There's actually uh, some uh, Walt Simonson artwork in here. This is a newsprint. This is called the Monster Times. Look at that. Godzilla on the cover there. Uh, Monster World, number two, featuring the Monsters. So some exclusive photos from when the Monsters came out on television. This is a painted cover. So I thought it was super great. Picked it up. These I picked up on my way back 
from my vacation in Louisiana, I stopped in Excalibur Comics in uh, Shreveport. You never see these early creepies in high grade condition. And when I saw these, I had to pick them up. Um, super high grade. You find the ones in the 20s, 30s, and 40s uh, numbering, but find some in the teens. So, creepy number 13, beautiful condition. Creepy number 14, even better condition. You can see the prices I paid for them. I got a little bit of a discount, so don't fret. Really great cover. And then a beautiful Frazetta, creepy number 15. So, really happy to pick these up, add to my collection. So let's finish out uh, the indie stuff, um, mini non-Marvel and DC. I picked this up from a buddy of mine. It's in rough shape. We're gonna see if we can clean it up and stuff, Betty and me. Uh, number 16, of course, it's popular because Archie had to beat off three guys to save Betty. Rough shape. Um, we're gonna see if we can clean it up, give it a press. Uh, I think the top staple is detached, but even in this condition, it's around a $200 book. So, happy to get that. All right, let's look at some DC books. Uh, picked this up from a friend of mine back in Louisiana. Action Comics number 293. This is the origin of Supergirl's horse, Comet. If y'all didn't know the name. Uh, I've pressed and cleaned it. Came out pretty good. I, I, I still think it's probably a 7.0. So, and that's not an expensive book, about $60 or so. So, really nice. I picked this up, and I'm telling you, everyone, y'all should be investing in these Silver Age DCs are still so cheap out there. And they're so great, such beautiful covers and stuff. This is a beautiful Kurt Swan cover. This is where uh, Superman meets uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, really great book, Action Comics number 309. The Day Superman Became the Flash. I love these little crossover books. This is Action Comics number 314. A beautiful Neil Adams cover. This is Adventure Comics number 366. Nothing overly special about it. Just a great Neil Adams cover. This is something you should be looking out for. Action Comics number one is, of course, super popular. The first appearance of Superman starting the superhero age of comics. But... I was talking to some friends of mine, and something we rarely, rarely see, and that I haven't seen up for auction in a long time, is Superman number one. Now, reprints of Action Comics, there's about five or so that have happened over the years, and those actually demand a little bit of money. Um, they go up fairly, they've gone up in value. I think the cheapest ones you can get are around $10 to $20. What you don't see a lot of is reprints of Superman number one. So I found this. Um, it doesn't garner the same as in Action Comics number one, but I'm telling you, Superman number ones, I just do not see coming for auction or anything a lot, and I feel like this has a little bit of room to grow. I think this is one of the few reprints of Superman number one, so when you find these out there in the wild, I would pick them up. So moving on with Superman, here's a couple of great Superman books. The first one, is Superman 169, great Bizarro cover. So the Bizarro Invasion of Earth, just really great. I just love that cover. It's really beautiful. Looks like some Kurt Swan art again. Uh, I love his artwork. And then this one, everybody should know, the first Superman Flash race. So I picked this up from that same friend in Louisiana. Um, Paid up a little bit. I've uh, been wanting a copy. Um, probably in about a 7.0, maybe a little less condition. Still a beautiful book. I pressed and cleaned it. It, it came out really nice. So I think I'm sending this in for grading. Uh, but yeah, super nice book. All right. So let's move all these out of the way. Before we get to the Marvel, here's a book I found. I do not have a lot of Golden Age in my collection, and this is the only EC book I have in my collection, but this is a beautiful copy of Frontline Combat number 12. Uh, such beautiful art back then. Uh, the, the coloring, the, the way they, of course, the 
inking and coloring process so much different than today just gives a certain richness uh, to the books and such and like I said the very first EC in my collection um, I didn't care if it was a horror book or um, you know combat book war book I just needed some EC in my collection and this is such a beautiful copy got it at a great price so really happy to have that alright these last three books super great I think these these have been going up in value I think they still got a little room is these early journey into mystery with Thor Thor is just a character in the MCU just that just keeps hanging around Chris Hemsworth isn't afraid to keep making some Thor movies he's just staying popular so these books have gone up in value I think they still have some room to grow also over the next couple of years so if you find these in higher grade definitely pick these up this is a beautiful journey into mystery uh, 104 so beautiful cover love this Jack Kirby artwork pick this up from same friend I got the Archie a Journey into Mystery 109. This is first appearance of Magneto outside of X-Men. I had this book years ago. It was in rough shape. I ended up selling it, um, hoping to find a higher grade copy. And sure enough, I did. Really nice. And then this one, uh, so nice. Journey into Mystery 124. Beautiful Hercules cover. Inner Hercules. The glory and the grandeur. So just uh, such a beautiful book. Um, really nice. Uh, all these books, too, I picked up from Excalibur. They haven't pressed and cleaned any of them. You know, I think that they could all do with it and probably help increase the value a bit. Um, so I was really happy. Like I said, they, they treated me right with um, some deals and stuff. So just love picking up these books. And that's it. Thank you all for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed the content. Hey, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It really helps me out a lot. You can see Jack and Freeway sleeping together, little brother and sister uh, napping together. Uh, check out my playlist. Drop a couple of likes. really helps me out. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and keep on collecting, everybody. Bye.